Talking a sailboat can be a very scary and unsettling experience. You may feel like an actor on the stage and that the whole marina is your audience. This is the first in a series of videos about docking. This video is dedicated to the premise that you can dock your boat gracefully and with style and will provide you the tools and techniques you need to know in order to do so. There are six steps in an effective docking procedure. The first step is to case your docking spot. If you're coming into a dock that you're not familiar in using, you want to approach the dock, stop your boat, and look at the direction and strength of the wind and the current. Consider how they may affect your ability to dock. Check the depth of the water and whether there are any obstacles such as large vessels. And based on that, decide what side of the dock you're going to bring the boat in on and what side of your boat will be against the dock. Check the availability of cleats on the dock and discuss with your crew which cleat he or she will use to secure the spring line to the dock. This step will be critical to a successful docking maneuver Next, prepare your lines and fenders. We need a bow line and a stern line and an after midship spring line, which we'll just call spring line going forward, and at least two or more fenders. Hang the fenders at the wide part of the boat so that they are just above the level of the water. Attach one end of the stern line to a cleat at the stern. Bring the other end of the line forward and secure it on the lifeline at the middle of the boat where you'll be able to reach it from the dock. Do the same for the bow line. Then secure the spring line to a midship's cleat. Then have the crew gather the remainder of the spring line into hand, take a seat in the cabin top, and wait patiently. Next the helmsman maneuvers the boat next to the dock so that the crew can step ashore and secure the spring line. It's essential to bring the boarding gate part of the boat close to the dock, slowing or stopping the boat so the crew can step onto the dock. Carrying the spring line, the crew steps onto the dock, walks to the pre-identified stern dock cleat. Then cleats the spring line. The helmsman puts the boat back into gear. If necessary, adjust the angle of the boat to the dock with the rudder. And the engine in forward will force the boat against the dock. You have docked with style and grace. This spring line is the secret to docking with style and grace. Once the crew secures the spring line to the dock cleat near the stern of the boat, your docking success is assured. With the engine in gear, the boat is forced against the dock and you use a little rudder adjustment as needed to keep the boat parallel to the dock. And the final step is to secure the remaining dock lines and settle in. Remove the bow line from where it's secured on the lifeline and tie it to the dock, and then do the same for the stern line. The helmsman can assist the crew in this process or remain behind the wheel. After all lines are secured, take the engine out of the gear, 
idle it a bit, shut down, and you're done. So let's review docking with style and grace. Good.